Hey, welcome around the building again toward the van. Uh, one thing I found, a very, very weird side effect of being in this van is I've lost 20 pounds. Now, that's basically because of the kind of eater I am. I will eat to excess if it's easily available. But now that I really have to plan on stopping somewhere... Or, uh, or uh, I can't cook in this van. I don't know how people cook in, in a standard height van. Uh, now, if I go out to a park, of course, I could just cook. I could rig something where I could cook through the, out of the door or, you know, put the uh, camp stove out there. But I cannot really cook inside a van like this. Maybe if I had another uh, fan, I probably could. Exhaust fan. Anyway, I'm running the uh, generator again. Uh, the sun popped up for a second, but it's supposed to be a cloudy day. It's supposed to be up to 80 today. It was like 70 yesterday, 80. It's going to be 80 today. Then it's supposed to drop down to 50. This is normal Texas weather. So I just wanted to really mention that very fast video. Uh, I'm trying to put out a few more videos. Uh, uh, and uh, this one is... Uh, this one is... Uh, very apt because I I think that, that doing this might extend my life uh, because I just if I am sitting around somewhere in an apartment in a house I look for reasons to eat now I'm not saying I'm a refrigerator eater but I, I tend to eat out a lot I still eat out quite a bit because you know cooking and cooking on that stove is just uh, cooking on my Coleman stove it's, it's a very, it's a good enough stove. It's just not really a practical thing to do in a low top van, in my opinion. But I know a lot of people do it, and a lot of people do it well. And I'm gonna try to find out their secrets. But even at that, I'm never gonna eat as much as I would laying around in an apartment or laying around on a couch. And by default, you're more active because you are mobile. And you do not sit around in that little box all day. Now, you can, but you don't make it a steady diet. You know, and I, I don't have a high top sprinter, and, I, and a high top sprinter would only mean, uh, I don't know if a high top sprinter has a bigger footprint than my, than my extended van down there, but it, it, does, uh, it does have more height, and I guess I could hang around in there a little bit more. But, uh, eh, you know, who knows? Anyway, uh, but uh, I, it's, it's a good thing. I'm down 20 pounds. I feel better climbing stairs. You know, so I really can't, I really can't complain. All right, I will uh, be back with a new substantive video on van dwelling, etc. pretty soon. Uh, the bed has arrived. It's arrived at the post office. Uh, it arrived yesterday, as, as as described by Amazon. So I really, uh, so everything worked out fine there. Yeah, they're gonna re-deliver today. Uh, my UPS store is not open on Sundays. So uh, I'll get it today and I will uh, hopefully be putting it together.